welcome everyone so yes there are two ways to do these kind of sums i will show you both okay the first very very easy you convert everything in terms of 2 so 2 raised to 2 the whole raised to 16 becomes your numerator instead of 4 and instead of 16 we'll write this as what 2 raised to 4 the whole raised to 4 now in indices a raised to m the whole raised to n can be written as a raised to m into n so this will be written as 2 raised to 16 into 2 is 32 upon 2 raised to 4 into 4 is 16 now when you have the base to be same and indices to be different especially in the numerator and denominator, you can directly write this as what a raised to m minus n so this becomes 2 raised to 32 minus 16 answer comes out to be 2 raised to 16 which is equals to 2 raised to a so since the bases are same i can say a equals to 16 okay this is one way of doing another way is basically what I can do over here is, see, I will write everything in terms of raised to 4. So, we have 4 raised to 4, the whole raised to 4 instead of 16. And we have 16 raised to 4. So, this can be written as what? 4 raised to 4 upon 16, the whole raised to 4 because the indices are same. So, this eventually gets you 4 into 4 into 4 into 4 upon 16 equals. And everything is still raised to 4. So what will happen is this is one za and one za one za. So we have four. Sorry, this is just four. Four into four, which is again, which is again sixteen raised to four, right? And sixteen can be written as two raised to four, the whole raised to four, which eventually gets you two raised to sixteen. And again, we got the value of a as sixteen. I hope this is very very clear to everyone. That's it for today. I will see you in the next video.